Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got some fantastic packages. These I've uh, bought from Amazon and they are Art Dot items. This is the item that I actually went on to Amazon to get. Uh, one of you lovely people out there said to me it was on special offer because I've been uh, stalking it for a while. It's one of these 120 drill storage cases and it's an art dot one so that I know it's really really good quality uh, and when I went and logged on uh, to buy this it then came up with well would you like some money off another product as well and it was a new product so I thought well I might as well yeah I'll have the money off the other product as well so I ended up with two items much to hubby's horror hu much to uh, hubby's horror <laughs> so he said I thought you were only getting one thing and I said yeah but they sent me a special offer on the other one and actually this one is slightly cheaper now uh, than it was when I bought it with the money off. So go figure. But anyway, that's just uh, the beauty of shopping on it, on the internet. Sometimes uh, it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less. So we'll have a look at that in a second and we'll have a look at the new product first because I'm quite interested to see what this is like. Uh, yeah, but oh, my case. Oh, yes. I can get my big canvases kitted up now because I've got my 120 bottle case. Yay! They did come in a really, really big box. So I thought rather than showing you a great big box or the top of a great big box, I would just take them out first. It was easier. <laughs> okay, so these are Art Dot stickers and they are called Freestyle stickers. And they are something that's quite new out. Uh, well, they were when I saw them and I have had this package for... Uh, yeah, since the 28th of May. So I've had this package over two weeks uh, to unbox. And uh, yeah, you know how it goes. I had a busy week last week. So I have my trusty little flower petal uh, cutter knife. Look, oh, and it's got fluff on it. So we'll get rid of that. And let's get into these and have a look. I uh, hope everybody is doing okay. Uh, I've had quite a, a not bad day really. I uh, hope he hasn't been feeling brilliantly well. But uh, I've managed to actually open the little bedroom window, which is the craft room that I'm in at the moment. And I haven't been able to open this window for about three years. And every now and again, I just give it a bit of a jiggle and a bit of a try and uh, try and open it. And today it opened. Yeah, you go figure. <laughs> So I'm having a good day. I was expecting I was going to have to call out the window doctor to come and mend it. And I haven't had to. Right, so what have I not cut? Let me cut across this way as well. Okay. So, oh, oh, I see why the cust... Oh, right. Okay, these are very, very different. So we've got uh, stickers, but they are black and white stickers. Now the price of these normally on the website is $9.99. With the money off with buying the other item, I got them for $8.59. And on the Amazon, as I've just looked, as I've come on here now, they're £8.49. So if I'd have waited, I've got them 10p cheaper. But never mind. There you are. That's just how things go. They're like your standard stickers with your little cover sheet on the top. And have we got white backings? Let me have a look. Or are they transparent? Let me see, let me see. Do you know, I've no nails. I think I've snapped every single nail this week. One after the other. It's been driving me mad. Now, remember that's there, people, because I keep losing the lids off my tweezers. Let's see if I can uh, just get the back off this one. All right. Oh, my goodness. I had to. Sorry about that. I had to get another sticker to try. Uh, yeah, they are transparent stickers. So you will end up with white edges. So they'll just peel off there. I think you can see there. So, yeah, that's good. But that took quite some doing. Uh, I'm not sure what I was doing wrong on that one. Look, I've uh, pulled up the edge and managed to get that there. I think I'll uh, have to have another try with that one. But yeah. OK, so let's see how many stickers we got. Does it say on the box? Uh, diamond art freestyle stickers what is the colours of a rainbow it's up to you oh I quite like that idea art dot craft is a lifestyle yeah I can agree with that uh, that just tells us where it's manufactured that's just got the label on the front this gives us the instructions so do tell us how many we've got so let's have a look so we have light bulb 
a little bow tie i'll put it that way around let me put this back on here look don't want to be stabbing myself is that a fire could be a fire let me see okay i think that could be a fire or a plant or something uh is that a feather i think that's a feather uh, oh this is fun i mean not only are you getting stickers that you can put the colors on yourself but you've got to decide what they are as well is that a clock could be a clock could be a potato <laughs> i don't know what that is that was a planet uh, that was a unicorn i know what that is and that was a i was going to say a duck but i think it's a flamingo isn't it so we've got one two three four five six seven eight okay and we have a rainbow so nine just trying to keep them all in focus so that you can see them all and then either a rose or a lollipop i think it's a lollipop uh 10 okay right uh, uh, uh that could be a tree or it could be a feather or oh don't know okay we've got a star we've got could be a bird's head could that be its eye could that be its beak oh dear these are going to be fun to do that's a sweet oh we've got another sweet oh we've got two the same oh no, that's not good don't give us two the same put that on there uh, i think that looks like a game controller is that a crown that could be a crown got a butterfly we've got is that a lightning bolt <laughs> oh we've got another two the same okay all right and that's a, a musical note is it a treble clef so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we've got 22 so far uh don't know what that is i think that's another flower that looks like a moon okay we've got anything that looks like a sun i think that's a christmas tree oh that one's a peace sign with it. it's still got its uh, bits in look <laughs> Dinky little doodads. Oh, hurry! We've got a diamond for us diamond painters. We've got a heart. And we've got another flower. Okay, so that's 30. All right, pop those over there a second. We've got a smiley face. We've got like a flower tile. We've got a cupcake. These are a bit easier to see. We've got uh, a paw print. We've got one of those uh, Celtic knots type thing and we've got a musical note and a flower so we've got 30 one two three four five six seven 37 do you think it should be 35 and the two that we've got sort of that are identical um have just been put in by mistake let me put that one there yeah i think it maybe should be a set of 35 and then the duplicates have just been put in i can't imagine that you'd get a set of 37 that's a funny funny amount but you can never tell with these things okay so you're free to just put your gems on wherever you want them mm. There's all guide circles on them as well, so you're going to have to make sure you get your gem exactly over the circle, otherwise it's going to show through. Right, let's have a look at this little toolkit. This is a different one. I've not had one like this before. Okay. And it says it's an accessories kit. Oh, right. Okay. So we've got a pale blue pen with a three placer on the end and a single placer. That's nice. I've not got a pale blue one. I've got a, a completely uh, blue one, but not like a an opaque, <laughs> but not like a transparenty style one. Uh, yeah, that's quite nice. We've got our blue squishy to match our pale blue pen. So that's good as well. I wonder if they come in different colours in different ones, and I wonder if all the stickers are the same. If you've had any of these stickers, let me know how you had the same ones. And then we've got a little blue heart. Oh, that's sweet. And then that's got to be the dinkiest little doodah tray. Look at that. So it's got a little hole at that side and it's got a little like shape at the top there to stop your drills from 
all coming over the top when you're tipping them and there is like a little mark there and a little notch there so I think you can get these and join them together so yeah and I think they'll probably stack as well looking at the bottom it's got like uh, yeah I think these will stack as well looking at the bottom there but we've got like a little notch there and a little bit that sticks out there so I think you could probably get a few of these and join them together so that would be quite good particularly if children are doing them well me as well but yeah so let's have a look at goodness me look at all these gems oh my goodness wow I wonder if they've got DMC codes on them okay let's have a look wow that is a lot of different colours and they look really pretty as well. Goodness me, this is really good value. I'm, I have to say, I am impressed with these. Um, albeit I couldn't get the back off them, but that's probably just user error rather than actual um, picture error. <laughs> so where do we start off? Goodness, okay. This is a huge train of drills. Um, yeah, we have got DMC numbers on them as well. Wow. Okay, so where do we go up to? So we're starting at number one, which is 600. And number two is 601. Three is 603. Yep, so these are all your DMC codes. But then, so they're not in DMC order, they're in like some sort of colour palette order. Because then we go from 605 to 3799. We've got 310. Gosh, how many 310s have we got? Wow, <laughs> look at all the 310s we've got. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 bags of 310. So I think they're expecting you to uh, outline everything in 310. And they have got, yeah, they have got the letter A. So I do believe then that they're expecting you to use, yeah, your 310, because all of the outlines have all got the letter A on them. You can pick up any of them, look, and all of these squares, albeit these are round, have got the letter A on. So it may look a bit pixelated then because you've got a square and you're putting a round on top. So all of those edges are going to still stay square, even with the round gem on. It's only in the middle where you'll have the round, but you are going to see the white underneath. Uh, you'll be putting your gem on top of the like guide circle there but you will still then see the gaps in between because you do get little gaps with round drills. Mm, different, different idea. Might have to get uh, my little granddaughter to have a play with these and see what she likes doing with them. So yeah, so that takes us up to 19. Okay. So... Just trying to see how many colours there are as well without me having to count them all out. But, so that's taking me to seven. So that would be like eight, albeit it goes up to 19. So then where's the next colour? Oh, and then we're starting at number one again, which is 3847. And then we go to 322 there. Uh, so yeah, they're all in like colour story. Oh, look at the purples. Look at those. Ooh, 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 pinks. And I've just look, look, I've missed. We've got hot pinks. I'm so involved with the numbers. I forgot all about the hot pinks. So that's your pink colour family onto your pair. But this is quite nice actually uh, for doing these because it's put the colours together. So if you are, say, wanting to do a flower and you're wanting to shade it from the middle out to the outer edges as like an ombre effect, then you could start off with like your darker colour in the middle and then gradually fade it to your paler colour on the outside. Or actually the purple would look quite nice, wouldn't it? So you can do your two or three colours on your shading. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, 
So that one goes up to 20. And then does this one start at number one again as well? Yes, it does. So then we're starting number one again. Oh, look at that bright pink. That's like a luminous pink. And then these are all like your greens and your lemons and your peaches. So, yeah. And that one goes up to 20. So that's 40. So we've got 48 different colours. Wow. That is really, really good. I mean, if you're just starting off diamond painting and you're wanting to start building up your drills and keeping them and putting them like in storage, then this is quite a good way to do it because you've got 45, sorry, 48 different drill colours to get you started. Wow. It is nice to see them in the colours as well because normally you would get them in 1 to 48 and they would all be in number order. So you'd have like 310 near the beginning and the three sevens at the end. You could use your little bottles. So I would keep them in these colour families. Yeah, and I would start off. I don't know why they've separated those out, those pinks out from those pinks. I would keep those pinks together. So, you know, as you're freestyling, as they've called it, um, you've got your colour palette together. So you can use, well, maybe this pink and maybe this pink. And uh, we'll use a little bit of hot pink. And then we've got our different pinks there. And uh, then we could go on to our like, rusty red colours. Uh, yeah, and then onto your purple. So possibly put them into colour order rather than actually putting them into DMC number order. So yeah, I'm uh, very impressed with this. I do like this. Something that little bit different. And obviously then if you are wanting to do other projects, you've then got all your colours as well. And they do look nice drills. They do look so there's, you know, they're all round. Can't see any little skirts on them or knobbly bits or anything. So, yeah, look at that. It's a definite sort of a hot bubblegum pink, isn't it? Luminous pink, I think. <gasps> wow. Why am I always drawn to pink? These are all your green colours that you've got there. All those colours there. So, wow. That is a lot of drills to get with a little kit for 14 for £8, as say, 49 as it is on the uh, Amazon website at the moment. So let's put these back into here for now. And then we'll have a look at that case, because that case is going to have some fun bits in it as well. Right, so let's put all our stickers back together. And let's have a look at this case. Okay. Take the plastic off. Right. So now then this one, I'm not going to have any trouble knowing which way up it is. Because the lid is the thin bit at the top and the drills are in the fat bit at the bottom. The previous ones I've had to these have been, seem to be a lot more bulky, but they can't have been. I have had another 120 storage case. I've got a black one with a big handle, but this just seems more compact. And uh, the footprint, it's the same on the top as the standard sort of like 60s that you get, but this is double the size because it's 120. So let's see if the bottles are actually two of the standard size bottles as well. The price that I paid for this one was £24.39, which is about the cheapest I've seen it. Um, I did get one, if uh, you've been watching, uh, from that wonderful Timu company. And unfortunately, it was all the little teeny tiny bottles. So, yeah. But this one looks like it has my favourite type bottles, which is the hard plastic little bottle and the soft plastic lids. So you don't get the squeak when you put the lids back on. Plus, as well, these don't crack because uh, you might... I'm more likely to drop the lid than I am the case. Uh, and there's that little bit of cushion as well when they do drop because the lid is the softer plastic. So we have a 60 on top, all in the nice foam. And we have 60 underneath. And yes, they're the big bottles. So I have a 120 storage case with, oh my goodness, see if I can get this out of the bottom. 
with my favourite style bottles. They say actually on the website that these hold 2,000 drills, but I've only managed to get about 1,600 to 1,800 in them. Uh, but then somebody did tell me that those little packets of 200, uh, she'd counted that they had a lot more than 200 in them. So quite possibly that's why. But yeah, I mean, they do stay in the foam base there. You could just use it as a normal case if you wanted and just take these out and use them as is. But they are better off in a case. I'm very clumsy and I can't be doing with dropping things and throwing things around and tripping over them as I'm liable to do. So it's lovely finished off. We've got a nice large capacity in the lid as well. Got lots of little stickers. We always can use some stickers. They've got a little bit creased, but just flatten those out in a second. We've got one of the tall kits again with all the different bits and pieces in and a square funnel. So you can tip your drills into your case. We've got a nice little uh, netted pocket here to keep all your bits and pieces in so you could put any drills you know if you've got um say 10 packets of one type of drill and you only want to put a few into your little cases oh that one's tight in uh, then you could put some in there and just put the rest in your pocket there to use up as you need them as i say it's quite a nice deep one as well so let's have a quick look what we got in our tool kit so just pop you out of the way a second over there Looks like we've got a nice big tray and a big piece of wax and a straightener and some tweezers. So, yep, that's your nice drill straightener. So as you're going along, you can either run it in between your drills or you can butt all your drills up. You've got uh, oh, two little green trays. So, yeah, you can use more than one colour at a time if you want. We have four of your pink pens with single places. And we have a three placer, two six places, and a nine placer. They do seem to like giving us six places. It must be one of the more popular ones. But these are the older, thicker ones. Uh, yeah, so the people tell me that the finer ones are better. I tend not to use uh, multi -place. Actually, that's no, it is one of the older ones. But these are good for picking up special uh, shaped drills because you've got a bit more surface area to pick them up with if you've got your wax in there. They work that little bit better, so that's those. We've got a good amount of little grip seal bags there. That will be the size of the grip seal bags, and then they've just folded the others up and put them inside. Oh, we've got some more labels, so we've plenty of labels. They're a little bit smaller, and they're a little bit bigger, so that's fine. We always like some labels. We've got some wax there. It's the see-through wax, though. Um, mm, I, I tend to think they're all more or less the same, the pink, the blue, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, people tell me they are different, but uh, maybe one day I'll do a test on wax and see which is the best. But there are quite a few out there on the internet at the minute. We've got our plastic tweezers and then our large boat with the spout, which, yeah, I do like these. You'll see me when I'm doing kitting ups and kitting downs. I do use these quite a lot. But when I'm diamond painting, I do have my other favourites. Actually, this one's uh, quite a squashy one as well. Rather than doing them in the hard plastic, they do seem to be starting to do things in this little bit softer plastic. So they're a bit more durable if you drop them. Or I should say when I'm using them, when I drop them. <laughs> OK, so yeah, I think that was a really good buy. I wanted my uh, large case. Oh, and then we've just got a little fun with which, yeah, they tend to always go a little bit uh, funny shaped, these, don't they, when they're uh, being transported. But, yeah, all you'll do is, uh, when you've finished using your drills in your tray, you can just put your funnel in the top of your little pot and then tip your drills into there. So if you like me and spill a lot, then this tends to catch them all rather than, uh, yeah, you're trying to put them back in there and they all come over the top and go everywhere. Yeah, you'll have seen me doing that several times. <laughs> oh dear, right. Oops, it doesn't want to go back flat. Oh, there you are. It's saying, now I'm out. I don't want to get folded back up again. I've got my freedom. Right, so lid. Put that back there. I'll do a few quick measurements on this. I'll just put these bits back in here. So keep them all together. 
So straighteners are very, very useful. The labels put those flat. So they're staying a little bit flatter. And put those into the pocket as well. So that keeps those there. Right, so let's do the outside measurements first. When I can find my tape measure. Come on here, tape measure. So I believe it's the same sort of standard size. Yeah, year 13 inches, which is about 33-ish centimetres. That's from sort of the outside of the zip there to there. And then from the handle, which again is your good uh, stretchy handle, nice and easy, and it's got your finger grips on it as well. So, yeah, I'm sure you've seen a lot of these before. Uh, if you do need any more details, I've got lots of unboxings on similar ones. Uh, or just leave me a comment down below and I'll uh, get back to and uh, answer it if I can. And then from there to there is about sort of nine and three quarter inches, which is your 25 centimetres. And then the actual depth of this one, because obviously it's double size, is, let me have a look, we're about five inches, which is 13 centimetres. So yeah, you've just got the extra for those extra lots of bottles. But I just think that's nice and neat and compact and a smaller footprint rather than uh, the bigger case that I've got that just seems to be unwieldy. Um, it looks more like a mini suitcase, to be fair, and it's got like straps going around it as well, whereas this fits in with all of my other cases and looks really, really nice. <laughs> or it will be when I get it on my shelf. Okay, so we've had a bit of fun, really. Um, two different products, as I say, I did... Uh, fall for the spoon and get the special offer on this one yeah somebody always says to me oh this is on special offer and i just can't resist <laughs> so we've had our 35 stickers or 37 stickers as we got and 48 bags of different colored drills and then our big 120 storage case very very good Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you would like to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.